what is up guys i'm back again with another video in today's one we will be discussing about how you can create your own customized color palettes for organizing your colors according to whatever sort of color theme or how many you're going for in your art piece and yeah we'll be learning about that in today's video coming up so here we are in kita 4.4 by the way you can just ignore this sketch which is on the center of your screen it's just a rough line art basically which i did for one of my artworks so if you wanted to manage your colors traditionally what you would have done is painted some of your colors on some corner of your canvas just like what i have done over here but it's not the best way of doing it because obviously it takes a lot of your space as well as you will actually have to continuously sample your colors through some color picker or another way of doing this or keeping the note of what colors you're using in your canvas what you can do is you can press the right mouse click and the creator will open up this shortcut palette over here i have already discussed this in one of my video what this palette is so in the center you can see there is a color history tab where you can see all of the previous colors you have used it is also helpful but it is not the right way of managing all of your colors manually so because we have such a severe case of ocd what we have to do is we will be properly organizing them for that we will be setting up our own custom color palette now for getting the access to our customized color palette what we have to do is you have to go into the krita settings over here and as soon as you click on it you will get a docker option go over there and from here you can just simply select the palette and as soon as you click on it it will become visible over here and from here everything we are going to do is in this tab by the way if you are finding this video useful you can simply drop a like that will be really appreciated coming back to the video So as you can see over here currently I am using the default Krita palette And as soon as I click on this button it gives me access to other palette options Some of them are termed as default marker and gradient they are based on different color harmonies and different tones of colors if you want to use any one of them you can do that as well but i will recommend you to create your own color palettes for every individual digital art piece because different artworks have their own different color themes art style so make sure that every time you are making new artwork you are creating a new color palette as well or maybe using the pre existing ones if you are very consistent with your art style and the selection of your colors now enough with playing with the pre existing palettes if you want to create your own one what you can do is you can go over here and then press this plus icon this adds a new docker now over here you can fill the palette's name or its file name basically now you have a completely blank color palette which you can completely customize according to your need so by default creta has already created one color over here for some reason so if you want to change that what you can do is you can press this pen icon and it will give us option to change the preset one which in our case is brown for some reason so if i go over here and change it to yellow it will be updated instantly and if you want to create a new color for your blank space over here just press this plus icon and add a new color blue green whatever and as soon as you press okay it will create a new color in your docker like this By the way if you want to play around with the file settings what you can do is you can click on this file like icon it will give you options to change the file docker's name its file settings all the kind of cool stuff it is very useful if you want to actually transfer some of your palettes from one device to another it can also be useful if you want to share your color palettes among other people in the creta community on some random forums or even if you want to sell them saving it like a file or changing the file settings can definitely help you a lot So in case you're happy with the color palette you have made whatever colors you have added you can just simply drag and drop it somewhere over here in my case just next to my other tabs my other brush tabs and there you go you have another additional tab added to your professional setup for creating digital artwork obviously you can add as many colors as you want according to your own art style or on the basis of your individual artwork with specific color combinations and color harmony It is totally up to you. This video is not about that. If you liked what you just saw, you can subscribe to the channel. That will be really appreciated because I'm currently hoping to hit that 2000 subscriber milestone by the end of this April of 2021. And yeah, you can comment down if you have any video ideas, comments or suggestions. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.